Hi, Stephen here from In Exteriors Painters and Decorators and you're watching In Exteriors TV. In this video I'm going to show you how to line a wall. If you would like to purchase some of the similar tools that I use for this task please feel free to check out the links in the description below and also if you're planning on doing any other decorating work please feel free to visit my tool store. The link is also in the description below so with that said Let's do this! The tools and materials that I'm using for this task is 1400 grade lining paper, sharp scissors, pencil, tape measure, level, a 300ml cork board, a snap off Stanley blade, a cloth or a sponge and a flat head screwdriver. This is the wall that we're going to be lining and what I've done is I've drawn a straight line along here. It's also straight and it's also as a guide because for this piece I'm going to be starting the first piece but I'm going to be doing it at so called the second piece down and the reason why I'm going to be doing it is to negotiate this feature. All will be revealed. If you would like to know how to paste the lining paper there will be a video that pops up at the end on an end screen. When applying this first piece, I'm just following that line that you saw at the beginning of the video. And I don't normally start here, I normally start at the top, but because we've got this feature, I need to negotiate it. And if I would have started at the top, then there would have been this little bit that I would have had to have wrapped around that feature and it would have tore. So I just thought if I start here, and put two separate pieces in at the top, it would just be a lot easier and make more sense. If you notice, I'm using the cork board to sort of flatten the paper out and not a brush. I use a cork board because that's how I was taught to do it, but you can use a brush. But if you're going to use a cork board, make sure that the preparation's good and that you've got no bits on the wall because if you put the cork board over it, it could end up tearing the lining paper. So like everything, prep is key. So if you'd like to know how to sand, fill and size a wall, there will be a video that pops up on an end screen at the end of the video. When I'm cutting the lining paper, I use a combination of sharp scissors and a snap-off standy blade. So I generally use the scissors to cut to the, all points, like points at the edges of sockets, points to the corner of the walls, points to the bottom of the frames and the skirting board, and then I use a snap-off blade for doing the, the, the main cutting. Here's what the room looked like before it was stripped. Once your first piece is on and straight, the rest should follow. So when I'm applying this piece, I'm not looking to butt the joints right up. I leave about a one to two mil gap and then I fill the joints after. The, the gaps can vary depending on the unevenness or evenness of the walls. I don't try to be perfect because perfect doesn't exist. So for me it's just more progress than perfection. And if you just do your best and you do your best all the way along it generally always turns out okay. When cutting with your snap off standy blade, change the blade every two to three cuts depending on how long you're cutting for or how long the distance is that you're cutting.
here's what it looked like once it was stripped and before it was sanded, filled and sized. I'm not talking to myself here, I'm actually talking um, to the client. What I'm doing now is just wiping off any sort of excess paste with my cloth. Here's what the walls look like when they was sanded, filled and sized. It did work out easier doing it this way, starting the second piece down and then putting two pieces either side of the feature. If you would like to purchase some of the similar tools that I use for this task, please feel free to check out the links in the description below. And also, if you're planning on doing any other decorating work, please feel free to check out my tool store. The link is also in the description below. When cutting into these corners, it's so important for the tips of your scissors to be sharp.
when papering around light switches or sockets, don't unscrew them first. Keep it screwed to the wall, make your cuts, then unscrew it, tuck the paper behind, then tighten it back up, but don't over tighten it. Wait for it to be fully dry before you tighten it fully up. Just like sort of nip it up so it's like sort of solid.
here's a reminder of what the walls looked like before they was prepped. And here's what the walls look like now it's all lined. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get notified of when I release my next video. Remember, it is free. Also, if you want to leave a comment in the comment section, please do so because that's how we all learn and grow. Thank you very much for watching and take care.